Hello everyone, myself Dr. Kirti, junior resident from the Department of Radio Diagnosis, Goa Medical College. I'll be representing our tubercular pericarditis. As we know, uh, the tuberculosis is one of the oldest and still major cause of mortality and morbidity worldwide. Around 95% of the active TB cases were found in the developing countries like Asia, Africa and Latin America. Tubercular pericarditis is a rare but a severe complication. However, it is one of the most common causes of pericarditis in the developing countries. Uh, high mortality from the tubercular uh, pericarditis is likely due to the delayed diagnosis, inadequate treatment and associated other comorbidities. In this presentation, we have put a case of uh, tubercular constructive pericarditis with a loculated pericardial effusion. Here is 50 year old man with uh, pulmonary cox on treatment since 4 to 5 months was presented with a progressive breathlessness and uh, bilateral pedal edema, uh, no history of uh, fever or cough. On physical examination, patient was everywhere febrile with a uh, respiratory rate of 25 with a muffled heart sounds and a uh, raised JVP. On laboratory examination, showed raised ESR and CFP, however, the, to the total leukocytes counts are normal. The chest X-ray revealed the cardiomegaly, where no pericardial calcification noted. Uh, on successfully performed the echocardiography, the uh, echo showed decreased ejection fraction with the paradoxical interventricular septal movement with uh, bilateral uh, dilatation. On subsequently, the cardiac MRI was performed, uh, which showed the generalized thickening of the pericardium uh, with the tubular configuration of the both the uh, ventricles and the atrium with the dilated atrium, suggestive of constructive physiology. A loculated pericardial collection was seen along the left ventricle cavity which is seen to cause uh, compression on the left ventricle uh, cavity uh, which resulted in the cardiac tamponade. The collection which also appeared ISO intense on T1 and T2 and shows a peripheral enhancement on post contrast. Uh, bilateral pleural effusion is also noted and the inferior vena cava was uh, distended. Uh, this is the black blood images and this is the bright blood images. On the black blood images, there, there is a generalized thickening of the pericardium and the loculated uh, collection which is seen along the left ventricle cavity which appears uh, T1 uh, ISO with the muzzle and the uh, T2 hyper with the muzzle. On injection of the contrast, first pass perfusion images shows an enhancement of the uh, myocardium, however, there is no enhancement of the pericardium or the collection is noted. On delayed uh, images, inversion recovery images shows the uh, uh, intense enhancement of the uh, pericardium with the uh, peripheral enhancement of the collection noted. Uh, these are the three images of the four chamber and the two chamber. There is generalized thickening of the pericardium with a loculated collection noted along the left ventricle cavity, which is seen to cause uh, poor expansion of the left ventricle cavity and uh, bilateral atrial dilatation and there is where sir, inter ventricle septum shows the uh, septal bounce on the diastole. Patient was taken to OT and the pericardectomy was done. The OT finding revealed the uh, parietal pericardium was more, uh, moderately thickened and densely adhered to the epicardium of heart causing constriction. A collection of cases and necrosis was seen along the posterior lateral to the left ventricle apex which is also plastered to the uh, left pleura. The post pericardium echocardiogram is normal biventricular function with normal ejection fraction. Uh, Pericardium is uh, two layer membrane envelopes all four chamber proximal portions of ascending aorta, pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins, and the superior vena cava. The pericardium consists of outer fibers and inner uh, serous layer. The serous layer consists of the parietal and the uh, visceral layer separated by the small amount of serous fluid. Uh, parietal uh, layer lines the inner surface of the uh, fibrous layer and the visceral layer envelopes the epicardium surface of the heart. The pericardial cavity is the space between the parietal and the visceral pericardial layer and is typically contains the clear serous fluid produced by the visceral pericardium. Normally the pericardial thickness is less than 2 mm on CT and MR images. Normally pericardium consists of the fibrous tissue hence it appears low on both T1 and T2 weighted images. The pericardial thickness more than 4 mm or more with the clinical findings of uh, heart failure highly suggestive of uh, uh, constructive pericarditis. MR image has a reported accuracy of 93% for differentiating uh, between the constructive pericarditis and the restrictive cardiomyopathy on the basis of depiction of the thickened pericardium. Pericardial thickening may be limited to the right side of heart or even a small surface or uh, such as uh, right uh, atroventricular group. It is important to remember neither the pericardial uh, calcification or uh, thickening is a diagnostic uh, of constructive pericarditis unless the patient has the uh, symptom of physiological constriction or restriction.
Tubercular involvement of the pericardium can occur uh, via the lymphatics from the uh, paratracheal, peribronchial or uh, mediastinal lymph nodes or via the hematogenous uh, spread from the primary tubercular foci. Rarely the uh, contagious spread of the uh, uh, tubercular lung lesion or the hematogenous spread from the distant skeleton or a genital urinary can occur. The four stages of the per constructive pericarditis includes acute inflammatory pericarditis, effusive constructive pericarditis, adhesive constructive pericarditis, and chronic fibrous constructive pericarditis. Acute inflammatory constructive pericarditis presents with the acute uh, pericarditis with the marked thickening of the pericardium with associated constructive physiology. Adhesive pericarditis constructive pericarditis uh, presence of the fibrous bridge between the uh, parietal and the visceral pericardium effusive constructive pericarditis is subacute constructive pericardium mainly involved in the visceral pericardium and with associated the chronic pericardial effusion chronic fibrous constructive pericardium consists of the fibrous changes with or without associated calcification Constructive pericarditis is due to the pericardial fibrosis as a result of inflammatory process. Less complement peri uh, pericardium impairs the uh, ventricle and the atrial fluid. Depending on the extent of the disease, the free wall of the ventricle chambers have restricted expansion during the diastole. The ventricle capacity of the one of the uh, ventricle is uh, strictly related to the filling of the opposite ventricle. The causes of the pericarditis includes the postcardiac surgery, idiopathy, uh, usually uh, maybe due to the uh, viral uh, pericarditis, post radiation, tuberculosis, the most common in the developing countries, fungal and parasitic infection, chronic uh, renal failure, collagen and vascular disease, neoplastic infiltration, and asbestos. Definitive diagnosis is based on the identification of the tubercular bacilli in the pericardial effusion of pericardium. However, the culture may be positive in only 40 to 50 percent of the cases, and identification of the bacilli in the pericardial biopsy may be difficult in the early stages. Imaging can aid an early diagnosis in these cases. The pericardial tamponade and the constructive pericarditis are usually seen in the uh, echocardiography. However, the entire imaging is hindered by uh, anatomical limitation. In our case, the pericardial collection is not seen on the echocardiography. CT can demonstrate the pericardial thickening, calcification, and effusion as well as the presence of the pulmonary and the mediastinal tuberculosis. CT and MRI features of the constructive pericarditis. In acute inflammatory constructive pericarditis, the pericardial thickness is more than 4 mm and the effusion and the early enlargement of the pericardium is noted. In effusive constructive pericarditis, the pericardial thickness is uh, more than 4 mm effusion and there is addition between the uh, uh, parietal and the visceral pericardium and the early enlargement of the parietal and the visceral pericardium is noted. In chronic fibrous constructive pericarditis, pericardial thickness more than 4 mm with or without pericardial calcification, no effusion, and no early enhancement of the pericardium noted on the contrast images. However, the thickened pericardium shows the delayed enhancement on the inversion uh, sequences. That is, you constructive pericarditis, which is very rare, the pericardial thickness more than 4 mm, and then there is addition between the visceral and parietal pericardium as well as the pericardium and the surrounding mediastinal structure. No uh, enhancement is not early enhancement is noted. Due to constructive pericarditis, the ventricle chambers may assume tubule-like configuration or uh, enlargement of uh, one or both atrium, enlargement of the superior and the inferior vena cava. Cine images may show the decrease uh, right and left ventricle ejection fraction, normal sliding of the ventricle over the pericardium, and abnormal septal motion towards the uh, left ventricle in the early diastole and the increased interventricular interdependence. Although the tubercular pericardium comprises of 1 to 2 percent of all the tubercular infection, it is high incidence of the uh, progression to the peric constructive pericarditis and the high mortality rate wants uh, the early uh, diagnosis and prompt initiation of the anti tubercular treatment and the early surgical intervention if indicated. These are my references. Thank you.